Um, take a look at this car right there in that video. It's zooming down the oceanfront boardwalk in Mission Beak Beach and people jumping out of the way to avoid being hit. Neighbors tell News 8's Abby Alford this sort of thing has become a real problem and witnesses say they were stunned by what they saw. We don't know exactly where this car got onto the Mission Beach boardwalk, but video shows it was at least north of Santa Clara Place. Now, not all of the easements have barricades like this, but neighbors are pleading with the city to have some kind of deterrent and still allow emergency vehicles access to the pathway. Home surveillance videos show just before 930 Sunday night, a sedan speeding down North Mission Beach boardwalk. Flies by, loud noise. Uh, obviously, I was in total shock. I was there with my girlfriend and her eight year old daughter. Rob Brown says he was in his hot tub when he saw a car going 50 miles an hour. We're just like, you know, oh my God, if that hit the side or could have flipped and killed us or everybody on the boardwalk. Rob says he got on the phone with police. Vehicle driving on the boardwalk, it's going to be a silver four door sedan going southbound on the boardwalk, almost hit several pedestrians. He checked with his neighbor who captured this video and other people to see if they saw the silver sedan too. You know, we're asking them, did you see that car? And they'd either say, yeah, we had to jump out of the way or dive over the boardwalk. It was swerving around. This is not the first time a fast cars made it onto the boardwalk. One year ago, a red Jeep was seen around 430 in the afternoon, careening down a crowded boardwalk. In the distance, a lifeguard tried to stop the driver, but it just kept going. Neighbors say they've seen countless of lost delivery drivers or tourists make it onto the boardwalk, but going much slower. And we've been asking forever to get them to do something at the end of the places, which is where the cars can get onto the boardwalk, to just completely block them from going through. Rob and his neighbors used to serve on the Mission Beach Town Council and say they've asked for barricades or deterrents that would still allow emergency vehicles but make it much harder for drivers to enter the boardwalk. Just hopefully the city does something to prevent these cars from getting onto the boardwalk before somebody really gets hurt. Council President Dr. Jennifer Campbell, who also serves Mission Beach, says we have heard from residents, understand their concerns, and will continue to monitor situations like this moving forward. Regardless, no one should ever drive on the boardwalk. Police say they did receive several calls about this car, but no arrests and no one's been detained.